approximately 70% of the thyroid population experiences some or the other kind of menstrual irregularity. And that is because thyroid hormone is the one responsible for the regular functioning of reproductive organs and hormones. So let us try to understand what are the various discomforts being experienced by a thyroid patient. In a hypothyroidism, it is very often missing periods, delayed periods, or heavy periods and frequent bleeding. And it can also lead to infertility and miscarriage. A hyperthyroidism patient experiences very often scanty flu, missing periods, and difficulty in conception. Now, what is the reason for the amenorrhea or the missing periods? There is a rise in TRH, which is thyroid releasing hormone, which leads to increased production of prolactin from the pituitary gland. And this leads to impaired ovulation because there is a impairment in the production of estrogen. And because of which there are anovulatory cycles or missing ovulation happening. So what can you do about the scene? Now, once you have started with a synthetic thyronome pill, very often it gets regulated. But there are also a lot of cases wherein we have seen that despite of starting with a synthetic thyronome pill, the periods are still messed up. So what can you do about it? Couple of things that you can start with are one, trying to regulate the hormones by living in tune with the nature, as in resetting your circadian rhythm by going to bed early, waking up early, facing the rising sun and doing 45 minutes of workout. This will take care of the kapha and pitta imbalance which is often found in these patients. Now if this hasn't helped you, then consuming ash god juice by midday will help you in tackling the missing periods to a certain extent. Now, if even this hasn't helped you, then you're going to need the help of an Ayurvedic physician to help you understand which of the three doshas are in impairment and what is to be done specifically for your case. So which of the above said conditions are you struggling with?